great job. Those two have to have a big night pressure in the quarterback. Edwards Hilaire, five foot eight, short, stocky, and strong. The low pressure off the edge. Burrow downfield throw, and the catch is made at the 32 by Jefferson. He is so good under pressure. Burrow back pedaling. Can he escape? Spins free, running for his life, stays in bounds, makes a move, knocked out short of the mark worth the 26 by Jeremiah Moon. And York, who struggled in warm-ups, missing wide left frequently, does so when it matters. And for the first time this year, LSU comes up empty on the opening possession. Trask against a four-man rush, delivers high and incomplete. It was off the hands of Kyle Pitts, the tight end. Getting Jabari Zuniga, the other pass rush bookend healthy. And now a busted hole. Edwards Hilaire's in the clear. It's a foot race. And the Gators will finally chase him down inside the 10. An explosive run for the local product. They're playing fast in the red zone. Burrow zips it across the middle. Caught. Touchdown. Jamar Chase. On first and 15, Trask, a long throw to the sidelines, and the catch is made. He's got it again on second down, slams forward, and is knocked backwards, but breaks free. Piran bounces out of traffic and into LSU territory. On second and 10, Trask gets the ball out quickly. It's a slant. It was thrown behind his receiver, Michael Piran. He's not afraid to sling it. He keeps it. And he breaks a tackle and a slippery gain of 12. They're in the red zone. Well, Tigers showing a three-man rush and they drop eight into coverage. Trask has time underneath. Catch made right at the marker by Grimes. Third down. Trask, play action. Survey flips it across the middle. Back in the end zone. Touchdown to Grimes. And second down. Burrow flushed. Tips his hand early that he's going to run, but it doesn't matter because he's got a lot of running room. And they fake it to him. And Burrow over the middle. Delivers a dart. Caught by Jefferson. Justin Jefferson slips a tackle. Step out of bounds. Back near the 4 to 30, I believe. They get behind the linebacker in front of the safety. And Mc McMath, 17, did a nice job of clearing out the zone there to open up and give Justin Jefferson. The tackle of Donovan Siner got 36 yards. Now Burrow looking downfield again. Lofts it to the end zone into double coverage, and a flag comes out as they were covering Jefferson a little too tightly. The receiver looks like he's covered. Burrow, pump fakes, scanning the end zone, rolling out, fires a dart, caught. Is it a touchdown? Jefferson was right in the pylon, and he did get in. Confidence. And again, fighting through a lot of physicality there. Play action. Trask has some time. Takes a downfield shot, and it's a diving play by Pitts. Athletic tight end. Went up and got it. Sure does. On second and two. P. Ryan makes a cut. And he'll make first down yardage and more inside the 30. Different. Four receivers to the left. Jones is running all the way, and he is with that quickness going to gain first down yardage. Play action, Trask from the pocket, takes off, has yardage, lowers the shoulder, shows some toughness. Jones looking to throw, lofts into the end zone, jump ball, caught, touchdown off the carom by Piron. You need a little luck sometimes in Death Valley when you're the visitors. They're in Pitts and Pirine against one defender. He puts it up, hoping that somebody makes a play. Queen actually got his hands on the ball. And he's six yards, but the two touchdowns. And this is Edward Solaire. Lowers the shoulder. Physical run. First down across the 35. Burrow, another throw on first down. And it's caught. And it's Thaddeus Moss working free stiff arm. He's dragged down by Sean Davis in Florida territory. Edward Delaire, big crease. Busted to the open. Down the sidelines. Touchdown, Tigers. And 
Travis Pitts in the slot. Travis is looking that direction, tries to find it to him, and draws a flag. That's a matchup all day you got to take. Davis is the back. They fake it to him. And wide open. Pitts running free. And the tight end continues to be a weapon. They're threatening inside the 40. Wait. Trask across the middle again. Again targeting Pitts who makes a nice hands catch down in the red zone. He beats Stingley. It it's a stray run. Doesn't have quite the speed to get off of Jones, but a good enough yeah. to get a first again. and goal. Trask looking to his left, zips it short in heavy traffic, caught for a touchdown by Van Jefferson. Another long, impressive drive by this Gators offense. To begin the third quarter, and he's looking to throw. Near sideline, coming back to make the catch is Jefferson as he beat Derek Stingley. On our offense. <laughs> Trask looking to throw again, Tom, and went very wow. similar route. Trask zips it again. Once again, it's Jefferson beating Stingley on that same island to the left of the formation. High snap. P. Ryan. It's a reverse. End around. And Hammond fighting. Kwan spinning for a first down before Stevens stopped him. So a little wrinkle. Yeah. Trask pumps, delivers. Touchdown, Jefferson. It was 11 to 12 throughout the drive. Jefferson hit hard after he caught it. Burrow has plenty of time and now will scramble and plenty of open space. And he's got a first down, scoots out of bounds across the 40. Burrow zips a short pass. It's caught. Chase breaks a tackle and spins out another first down inside the Gator 45. Go pass game. They're going to throw it underneath and pick up five quick yards. And now they zip it again as Florida with the tempo offense wasn't really set on defense and to the right. And Burrow steps back, has plenty of time to survey the field and now just checks it down and flips it to Justin Jefferson. It's all about the Jeffersons for both receiving cores. Edward Solaire sidestep traffic. Look at him drive and muscle into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Four man rush. Trask still harassed and sacked. The first sack of the night. And it's Micah Brooks. Once again, Jefferson in the middle. And the ball moves to the 40. It kind of came out on top of it. And now busting into the clear. Davis Price scores a touchdown to put the Tigers back in front. Welcome to college football, young fella. Tigers showing pressure, and they bring some. Jones backpedals, fires, incomplete. Tried to find who else pits on the crossing route, but Divinity. Not it's a reputation, yeah, they bring some pressure. Burrow has time, and a nice dart across the middle, and they convert him for first down for the first time tonight to Chase. They fake it to P. Ryan Trask, looking to throw to the end zone. Diving pick. Derek Stingley made the pick. He'd been picked on all night, and now he makes the Tigers' biggest defensive play. Watch his eyes. Watch how he's looking back, anticipating the football, able to adjust and find the ball. First to take away tonight, and they're not thinking about milking the clock. Burrow looking to throw across the middle, and it's complete. And Chase is off and running. Five receiver look, Burrow steps up and will take a downfield shot and has Chase and he'll score! LSU brings the blitz, they pick it up, ball out, catch made, first down Florida across the 35 by Jefferson. Boy. Now they rush five, clean runner. Trask gets it out. Screen, Swain, first down, another clutch completion on third and very long. Yeah. And now far side throw, catch made by Jacob Copeland. And Three play. He jumped offside, Trask spots it and fires into traffic. Pitts down near the 10. Option look, Trask, slam to the ground, 
by Chason. LSU makes a stand, and they're going to survive tonight in Death Valley. Yeah. And Zaniga, they're fine pass rushers. Edward Solaire, who's got 134 yards tonight. Burrow, 21 of 24, 293, <laughs> the three touchdowns. You know they had exactly one Heisman Trophy finalist at LSU in the last four decades. You know who that was? One guy who's even made it as a finalist. Tyron Matthew. Tyron Matthew. Was the only LSU guy. And yeah. Burrow stays yeah. on course. He's well. in the conversation. Two really good teams. LSU is going to be a tough out. I know they go to Tuscaloosa eventually, but with that offense, defense is going to get healthier, get better. They're a legitimate top four, top five team in the country right now.